Oh yeah, I'm going there. What's up everybody, this is Tuba Solo coming at you and this channel is all about hiking, backpacking, and enjoying the outdoors in Southern California and beyond. If that interests you, consider subscribing. Now let's get to my five reasons why I think z pack should bring back the Altiplex tent. Reason number one, the Altiplex has the most livable space for a one person shelter. When I first got the Altiplex, it was absolutely positively the first shelter that I had sat in where I didn't feel immediately claustrophobic. I mean, the amount of room that was in this thing was absolutely silly in comparison to all the different shelters that I had tried up until that point. I immediately fell in love with that thing. Where else are you gonna be able to do all this in that shelter? Let me give you the answer. The answer is none, no other shelters, only the Altiplex. Reason number two, very low weight in comparison to other one-person shelters. When you compare the weight of the Altiplex to other one-man shelters, you really see how it can shine. Now again, I know that the Plexamid is out there, it's some 14 ounces, but really, when you have a tent that's the size of the Altiplex and only weighs approximately 17 ounces, I can't see how you can go wrong. When you consider it against a Lunar Solo, depending on the model that you have, it can either be 24 ounces for the old style green, uh, 26 ounces for the new polyester, silk polyester version, or if you have the LE model like I do, it's a 30 ounce shelter. When you compare that to the 17 some odd ounces that the Altiplex is, it's hard to go wrong with that shelter in comparison to other one man single skin shelters. Reason number three, relatively small footprint. The Altiplex has a very small footprint in comparison to things like the Duplex. The duplex is a great tent, trust me, I've taken it out many times and I really enjoy using that tent. However, there are certain places in Southern California where I know that the duplex will not work well or there's not enough space in a particular rock ring. So it'd be nice to be able to take something that has a, a smaller overall footprint than what the duplex has. For those of us that do high elevation stuff and for those of us that go into places where there's not a lot of space to camp, having a tent that has a smaller footprint with the amount of room that the Altiplex has in it is actually very beneficial and very desirable. Reason number four, exceptionally easy entry and exit. Getting in and out of the Altiplex is exceptionally simple. The Altiplex itself has a giant rainbow door which allows you to get in and out without a lot of strain. After a long day on the trail, the last thing that I want to do is go down to the ground and slither into my tent. The last thing I want to do is be hunched over and try to eke my way into some kind of a tent or some kind of a shelter system or, or eke my way through into some kind of a tarp and bivy setup. Not that I wouldn't do it, but still, it's nice to have a door that's as big as the Altiplex to be able to get in and out of without any sort of issue. Reason number five. When set up correctly, the weather resistance is wonderful. Now the Altiplex in weather situations can be a blessing or it can be a curse. But the reality is, is if you set it up correctly, you're gonna have a shelter that's practically bomb proof. Now I myself, I'm willing to admit that I had a bad experience with the Altiplex when I was up at high elevation. I had a massive gear failure and because of my own inability to set up the tent correctly, I pretty much turned the back of the tent into a sail. And because of that, it captured all the wind and essentially broke my center pole. Had I set it up correctly with one of the corners pointed into the wind, I feel like I would have gotten a vastly better result. I didn't do that and the gear failed. But that wasn't the problem of the gear, rather it was my own inability to set up the tent correctly for the conditions that I was in. So the reality is, is if you set up that thing correctly, you're gonna have a bomb proof shelter with a lot of space. I know in Southern California we don't get as many storms as you do probably on the East Coast or up in the Pacific Northwest. However, when we do, I certainly want a tent where I can move around in and not have to be cooped up and, and just laying on the ground. I want to be able to sit up in the tent. I want to be able to kind of stretch my legs and move around. If I wanted to sleep like a starfish, I want to be able to sleep like a starfish. 
And the reality is the Altiplex allows me to do that. It allows me to lift my hands, it allows me to lift my legs to be able to stretch, and it gives me all the room that I need when I'm cooped up during a storm. Come on Z-Packs, do us all a favor and make the Altiplex great again. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. If you found it helpful, consider subscribing. And while you're here, why don't you check out some of my other videos coming up.